in western Kentucky, down on Kentucky and Barker Lakes, it's getting ready to be fishing season. The sun has come out, the water temps are starting to rise into the low 50s, and so it's getting that time of the year when the crappie are going to start moving up shallow. So this is a good time to start fishing the adjacent flats next to the creek channels. The crappie will be somewhat suspended, but you can do kind of a slow troll. Some people have a drift sock and they just get out there and they drift in those flats. It looks like we're going to have a good crappie season. As far as bass, a lot of fish being taken on rocky points at the mouths of the embayments. So I'd fish around the mouths and on the sides where there's some rocky shoreline just inside the embayments using spinner baits, rattle traps, jerk baits, and crank baits. Kind of seems like the big baits right now to be using. Well, this is Paul Reister, and I hope you find a good day to go fishing. This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Currently, water conditions are either flooding or a lot of the lakes are very high, especially the reservoirs. However, many of our small lakes are in good condition. This is a great time of year to get out and try to catch some largemouth bass. Largemouth are moving into shallow water in preparation for the spawn. And this time of year actually provides an excellent opportunity to catch a quality or even a trophy-sized largemouth bass at this time. You can catch a lot of these big fish at your local farm ponds, but you may want to try using jigs or plastic creature baits uh, around shoreline cover. Also, large crank baits and jerk baits are additional baits that are excellent this time of year. Hope to see you on the water. This is Rob Rolls in the Northwestern Fishery District with a fishing update for our area. Currently, our major reservoirs, Rough River Lake and Nolan River Lake, are both 10 feet over summer pool. If you're going to go after walleye in the next week or so, you need to go way on upriver above the Broad Ford area. Hybrid striped bass at Rough River Lake, uh, anytime the lake gets up and parking lots get flooded, anglers do really well fishing night crawlers on some of the flooded parking lots. So if you're around Rough River Lake, it'd be a good time to give that a try. Don't forget our Fins Lakes in the Owensboro, Madisonville, and Litchfield area. We're going to have a lot of two to five pound fish in the Fins Lake stockings. So this will be an excellent time to get out and hit the Fins Lakes that are near you. That's an update from the Northwestern Fishery District. Always wear your PFDs, especially when the water temperatures are this cool.